What is up guys, my name is Jackal, and we do only retro games around these parts, and we are here for Final Fantasy Adventure, or Legend of the Holy Sword, the prequel to Secret of Mana, and we are also here for more BoJack Horseman, Season 2, Episode 8, and, oh boy, was this episode fucking, was this episode funky, alright. Ooh, I forgot. Let's just appreciate that for a second. Oh. I love games with fucking great music. I don't know, man. I feel like there's a... I feel like this the creativity that came with a lot of old games was just unmatched. You're a fucking dick is what you are. Ooh, a puzzle. I like puzzles. Hmm. Uh. Uh. I'm going in the door. I don't know what the fuck just happened. That was confusing as a motherfucker. Hey, a level up though. That's not confusing. So with this episode of BoJack Horseman, we kind of got a little bit of, like, tying up of various different, like, storylines. Not, not t tying up of storylines, but a lot of, like, culminations of different things. Like, especially, oh, well, I guess it's mainly with Mr. Peanut Butter. But, like, the whole thing is the first episode of the show that... Wanda's ho um, on Wanda's network. Bruh. Zip. Get around you. Because that's not working and I'm not going to fucking try. But it's the first day of the... Whatever the... The fucking trivia show that... The name of the trivia show. It's a really long, stupid name on purpose. And... Bojack makes it apparent right from the start... That he supposedly... Supposedly. No. That he doesn't care about the show. But that he's doing it for Wanda. That, you know, because he's Wanda's boyfriend, he's go he's going to do it. He doesn't give a fuck about it, but because she does, he does. And to start, that's not exactly... That's like the, the the best thing Bojack could say. And at the start of the show, that's really what it is. And he's not really aware of this, but the show is supposed to be where, you know, he gets a bit of a ribbing from Mr. Peanut Butter. And he's not really expecting that at first. And it kind of bothers him. He gets, you know, a little bit, a little bit salty. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Flowers? Anything that I can break? No, that's not what I wanted. I'm kind of fearing if I might have not enough keys. I get worried about my fucking key usage. Stairs? Okay. But yeah, Bojack doesn't really care, but he's doing it because Wanda cares. And the whole game show is, you know, a trivia show that's set up to where Bojack is supposed to lose. And it's supposed to be where he gets a lot of ribbing from Mr. Peanut Butter. Now, Mr. Peanut Butter, though he is supposed to be, you know, a bit of an ass, you know, haha, ha, fun and games, he is very clearly upset. And I remember saying, I well, I don't remember, I believe I said, I'm almost positive I said, that Mr. Peanut Butter was, though he was, you know, the one to tell Diane to go, and he was pretty supportive of it, that he was not going to be okay with it in the end. That this was going to affect him. Should I go down, or should I go down the stairs? We're going to go down here, explore a bit. And because Mr. Peanut Butter is actually bothered by Diane leaving, and because of the relationship with Diane and Bojack and the way that it's kind of played into his marriage, Mr. Peanut Butter is taking it out on Bojack a little bit. And it really isn't actually... It really actually isn't fair. Like... Mr. Peanut Butter is kind of being the bad guy here. Because even though he's supposed to do it, and it's a part of the rules, he's definitely going a lot harder on Bojack than he should be. And he's getting a, a lot more personal. Like, he's not just ribbing him like a game show host. He's, like, adding, like, jokes about him being an alcoholic in there, and all sorts of shit like that. And... Mr. Peanut Butter is kind of being a prick. And, you know, I don't know if he knows it, because Mr. Peanut Butter is generally a pretty innocent person. So I don't even know if he would be aware that he's actually doing that. But he is nonetheless. And... It eventually, like... Dope. I can get rid of these guys. But, you know, Mr. Peanut Butter is probing him, probing a lot of his insecurities, probing his, his addictions. And he kind of, he kind of gets, he gets upset and rightfully so. But there's one, ooh, this looks like a boss. So we're going to talk a little bit before we do boss time. And also save before it's boss time. But... Bojack is clearly upset about how he's getting, like, made fun of. Because, I mean, it's also in front of an audience, and he is pro probing at his insecurities. It's not just game show host shit. So he's bothered, and... You know... One of the things that they say that kind of triggers him is when they bring out Daniel Radcliffe because they reference a big celebrity. like, Or they reference Bojack being the small celebrity. And his celebrity status being challenged really, really gets his goat. And that coupled with it being Daniel Radcliffe, who I guess in the past they had like a really positive interaction and now he like acts as if he's too good for Bojack. He, Bojack takes real, real umbrage to that. Because, I mean, gr like, we've seen clips of when Bojack was doing horsing around and 
he was interacting with his mom, she called him a clown. Like, she constantly ridiculed his celebrity status because, you know, he wasn't a proper actor or he didn't do theater or it wasn't something that she regarded as being more professional, she, better. So that being questioned and like made fun of in front of an audience, it really gets on Bojack's nerves. <clears throat> and he starts winning through he starts winning the game show and with when him and Daniel Radcliffe go against each other, it's clearly made for Daniel Radcliffe to win and for the prize money to go to charity. And you know Wanda even asks Bojack, basically, throw the match. And, you know, Bojack's like, what, what, you want me to throw it? Well, she doesn't say it. She hints at it. And Bojack's like, well, do you want me to throw it? Is that what you're saying? And she's like, well, you said you didn't care about it, right? You're here for me. And he's, and Bojack actually goes along with it. This, this is the worst thing. This is the hardest thing. Is that you actually have Bojack doing the correct thing here. He is being a healthy boyfriend, kind of. Because, like, he even tells her, like, you know, she's like, you know, don't you care about this? At the very beginning, don't you care about this? You know, this is the first episode, don't you care? And he's like, no, I think this is fucking stupid and a waste of time. But you care about it, so I'm here. And that's actually something that I actually encourage in a relationship. I will tell both of my girlfriends that, like, if I don't like doing something that I don't like doing it. Because I want them to know that if I'm doing it with them, it doesn't matter or not whether I like it. I'm doing it because they do. It's something they're involved with, it's something they like doing. So you're doing it for them. You know, when I watch shit on my son's iPad because he wants to watch it with me, I'm not watching it because I enjoy it, it's because he enjoys it, so I will sit there with him. It's, it's, that's all it is. So Bojack is actually being the healthiest that he's been. Still kind of an asshole, but he's an asshole. And his reward for being the healthiest version of himself that he we've possibly seen of him in a while, maybe ever, I don't know. I have to really think about it, but his reward for that is his insecurities being probed and his status being made fun of. And it all kind of comes to a head when Mr. Peanut Butter makes a joke, it's a secretariat question that Bojack throws the answer to for Wanda. And Peanut Butter ends up saying, like, oh, no wonder my wife had to write your, uh... You're a dick face. No wonder my wife had to write your, uh... Your what's it called? Your autobiography, whatever it is. No wonder she had to write your book. I think that's what he just said. He just said book. And, you know, at that point, Bojack kind of has enough and kind of makes a joke himself about, you know, oh, well, maybe your wife had to leave because of her shitty marriage, you know, because Diane finally left for the third world. And, you know... It starts a moment of Bojack and Mr. Peanut Butter getting into it. And at that point, Mr. Peanut Butter brings up the kiss. And it's a real uncomfortable moment. And But Mr. Peanut Butter does get to ask him all the things that he has. You know, he says all he ever wants is to be his friend, but you know, he doesn't take Mr. Peanut Butter seriously. And, you know, it's real hurtful. And the fact that he kissed his wife, or, well, they weren't married at the time, but they were about to be. All right. Uh, let's heal real quick. But it obviously is a source of insecurity for Mr. Peanut Butter, because 
you know, he was clearly uncomfortable about Diane leaving. So him getting it thrown back at him, he didn't like that. So, you know, them having this discussion about the kiss, it's... It's a great discussion because Bojack actually finally talks about the thing that... Well, I shouldn't have said Mr. Peanut Butter's insecurity. It shows Bojack's insecurity. I don't know why I said Mr. Peanut Butter. Something was bothering me about like that statement and where I was going wrong. Um, it highlights... God damn it. Sweet. God damn it. Sweet. It highlights Bojack's insecurity because he actually talks about why he's so jealous of Mr. Peanut Butter. And he says plain and simple, it's that he's jealous of him. That he doesn't know if he can be happy and confident the way that Mr. Peanut Butter is. Huh. I guess I don't need to do it. Okay, I was over... Th I was overthinking what I was going to have to do with that fucking block. Man. That's super annoying. But... You know, Bojack's, you know, he even says, you know, that he doesn't know if he can feel good about himself the way that Mr. Peanut Butter does. And, because, you know, Mr. Peanut Butter, you know, asks it, like, you have your dream job. You have a great girlfriend. You know, what more does the world owe you? And, you know, that's that's what he says, is that he wants to feel good about himself the way that he sees Mr. Peanut Butter. And he doesn't know if he can. And that really is, like, the... That's really it right there. Bojack doesn't know if he can be a good person. Or if he can be happy. Wait. This feels like the first area I was in. I don't like this. Um, excuse me. No. This should be new. Jeez, fucking teleportation over here. But it's it's a real sad moment with Bojack because, you know, it really gets at the crux at, like, all the things that he's gone through since he was a kid. Like, you know, he just doesn't know if he's even worth all of the all of the good things like it's why he always pushes everyone away constantly anytime someone's close to him he always has to push them away he doesn't know if he deserves to be happy and dope 
and you could tell it just has an effect on the way that he looks and treats everything. It's why he was so worried it when he finally told... When he uh, <coughs> finally told Wanda that he loved her. He's scared of what any of that might mean. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I don't need my fucking defense taken out of nowhere. Oh my god, I can't latch onto that shit for some reason. Got it. Fucking rabbit aliens. Alright, now it looks like a boss time. So let me finish talking and then we're going to play a bit and just do pure gaming progress for once. Because I never do that. This game I've fucking wasted so much time. But I'm really, I'm really bad at fucking talking and moving at the same time. Not when I have to, like, remember a TV show to, like, do it. If I'm just talking, that's one thing. But... That really just highlights everything that kind of is wrong with the way that BoJack just is and feels. And, you know, as heartfelt as that was... All the worry he has about, you know, being unworthy of, like, confidence and happy and being, like, sure of himself. Like, all the things that he's jealous in and Mr. Peanut Butter. When the ball is in his court, he acts like a fucking dirtbag. Because he was never meant to win, but he managed to, to win. So, he gets a chance to either, you know, give the money to charity... Or double or nothing. Double the charity money. Or it gets like burned in the trash. And the question is, you know, who played Harry Potter? And obviously the answer is Daniel Radcliffe. And Bojack knows the answer. And says Elijah Wood. He burns like $500,000 or something. Some large amount of money. It was meant to go to charity. He burns it. All to spite both Mr. Peanut Butter and Daniel Radcliffe. Because they both they both attacked the way that he feels about like his status, about his accomplishments. And that is that is the, it seems so far one of the worst things you can do to Bojack right now. Because he seems to have a lot of this like repressed shit with his mom who didn't like what he was doing and you know now if anybody makes light of it it's just a sore spot for him and I mean he he said he was there for Wanda so that that's the big thing there is like he didn't even care he wasn't even there for himself. He was just there to help his girlfriend out. And, you know, he pro basically promised her that he was going to throw the match. And, you know, it's her show, and it ends up burning charity money on the first episode of her show. Like, that's not going to fucking go well. Like, at all. We know it's not going to go well. It 
it's just really not the thing that, like... Uh, it's so hard because, like, he was being so good at the start. So good. And then in the end, he just couldn't help himself. Now, there is a part that I, like, definitely understand is on fucking Mr. Peanut Butter. What do I need to hit this guy with? Okay. There clearly has to be some equipment that I don't have. I refuse. I refuse. But there's a bit of this that's Mr. Peanut Butter's fault because, you know, he does have fair grievances against Bojack and his behavior. Like, no doubt he does. But that doesn't mean you take it out on him in public and humiliate them in front of people. Like, especially when, you know, I mean, he's right. Bojack has never really taken him seriously. But there's a lot of chances for, like, genuine friendship that has been possible at various points. And Mr. Peanut Butter has been the one to kind of ruin it. Where, you know, he'll tell Bojack, you know, like, hey, man, if you need to talk, I'm here. And as soon as he goes to talk to him, he just... He's out. He's gone. He's fucking paying attention to whatever else the fuck is going on. <coughs> so, I mean, there's a bit of that that's on him. That's very unnecessary. No, I'm not going to open that shit again. Wow, what a dick. Maybe there is... Maybe there... I just... Maybe I just suck... Maybe I, there is an item that I have. Lord have mercy. Okay, no. Heal. Yeah, you know, you can be mad about the guy kissing your wife and everything. Like, no one's going to begrudge you of that. But that doesn't mean you fucking humiliate them on television in front of an audience. Especially when, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be live TV. That's dope. So, like, there's no need for that. Like, he did that shit on purpose. And, you know, Bojack's in charge of his own decisions. Like, you know, Mr. Peanut Butter didn't do that to him. You know, he didn't burn the money for him. You know, Bojack did that on his own. You know, he's not responsible for that. But there is a... There also... You also do know how personal interactions go, you know when you're prodding the worst out of people. And that doesn't make, you know, that doesn't make Bojack's behavior okay, it doesn't rectify it, but, you know, there is a part of that blame that is on Mr. Peanut Butter. 
You know, he he was pushing and prodding too far on a show that, you know, that that's his show. Like, he's also on the show. X Ether, I like those. I like me those. I am always willing to take some of that. This feels too far back. There can't be something back here, is there? Because none of my weapons were working. Sometimes this game being as cryptic as it is is a bit annoying. But you know what this game has to make up for it? Yeah, that. That fucking music. Found Elixir? What is that? I don't even... I don't even know. Well, you know what? We might as well take this elixir over there and see if it does anything. See if this is like a story item. I don't know what the fuck it would be, but I mean... I don't have any better ideas going on over here. Don't do any damage, you're just annoying. But yeah, Bojack definitely didn't deserve that. Like, he deserved Mr. Peanut Butter to yell at him. But not in front of an audience. Not on a TV show. That's not that's not something that he deserved. And it's a shame that it prodded him into making a fucking stupid fucking decision that I think is going to jeopardize his relationship with Wanda, no doubt. Because, you know, she was depending on him. And that's not going to be a good look on her show for the network. This is going to be an unfortunate wake-up call for her. And... We're going to see how that's going to fucking go. So it's going to be very interesting to see where they take that next.
Especially when she was kind of trying to... Wanda was, I mean, kind of bullying Mr. Peanut Butter into forgiving BoJack. For, you know, ratings and TV, but like... I don't know, man. It's just a real fuck situation. I knew Mr. Peanut Butter wasn't really okay with everything. But I was hoping it wasn't going to come out like... Well, I didn't know it could come out like that. I Usually we don't see, like... Mr. Peanut Butter be like that. And as much as he is right that, you know, Bojack never takes him seriously. Like I said, it's not like fucking Mr. Peanut Butter is some fucking great person who's, you know, I've talked about the various different behaviors he's had that have been really fucking, not just irresponsible, but like fucking negligent. Especially with certain aspects of him and Diane's relationship. Hell yeah. So yeah, I just don't see this working out very well. Now because of Mr. Peanut Butter, you know, kind of prodding and poking Bojack in ways that were really unnecessary, you know. He may have ended, you know, his and uh, Bojack and Wanda's relationship over this. You know, I don't know if that's for sure what's going to happen, but, like, man, that's a fucking, that's a big fuck up. Like, she clearly has to notice how self-centered that he is. Because unfortunately for Bojack, she has her head on straight, which, you know, is good for a relationship. But, you know, she's not going to want to deal with that for fucking ever. Having a boyfriend who will get, like, petty on the spot like that in a way that's going to fuck up, you know, your career and your show and your shit. Like, fuck, dude, you can't deal with that. Who should have to deal with that? And it sucks because Bojack was it. He was really trying at first. Like, he tried four, but. Okay, so something hit him. Dope. Okay, so I was just really stupid and wasted time for no reason. Oh, so if I block those icicles, that's a spot I can stand in for, like, perma-safety. I'm, like, over-leveled like a motherfucker right now, unfortunately. Which will last until it won't.
Defeated carry. All right, we got an ice sword. Cool. What do I need an ice sword for? I'm very confused as to what this is for. All right, well, we're going to walk a little bit, see if see what we can find that may deal with this fucking sword here. And why when I got it, it kicked me out of here. Makes me wonder if there's something that I'm forgetting that I was supposed to do. Yeah, no, I think that's really it for Bojack. Unorganized talk, as always. It always is. Okay, so there's Chocobo. Huh. I don't know. Well, that's going to be it for today. I beat that dungeon. That was uh, kind of wasted time there because I thought that I was fucking up. I guess I was just hitting his tail and I could only hit his head. I don't know why I didn't think to do that, but, you know, whoops, it is what it is. But uh, next time we see what the fuck is so important about this goddamn ice sword because I got it and now it took me out somewhere, so... I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out when I get to it. So, take it easy. Next time, next episode of BoJack. Fucking season two is coming to a close, man. We are almost there. I cannot wait. But, until then, take it easy, guys. Peace out.